Okay. Okay, sasa tutaelekeza jinsi ya kufungua account Infinox. Okay, so kitu cha kwanza unaweza kwa click link hapo kwenye description lakini pia unaweza kaenda kwenye group sehemu ya links utakutana na hii link ya Infinox uta click kisha ifungua utabonyeza continue alafu utaenda juu kwenye sign up baada ya kuma click sign up shuka chini chagua aina ya account either MT4 au MT5 ingiza title kwamba wewe ni nani okay title Mr. Wani mwanaume uh, Giza neno Jina lako la kwanza na la mwisho Maybe Maybe tutumie nani Tutumie Francis Uja tutumie Yema Tutumie maybe Uja tutumie mwanaume Brandina Hapa nitaweka Mrs. Love Philbert kuja mwenye address labda address gani tutumie mimi use which address maybe then to me address yeye f pesa f pesa tanzania at gmail at gmail dot com and then kuja kwenye mobile namba hapa mobile namba utaingiza maybe 6724 utaingiza namba yako sasa uh, currency weka USD sijua kama kujisumbua leverage weka weka mi ya uh, 1200 sizidi 500 uh, language kwa hili ingekuwepo tungechagua so tutachagua hiyo ifaa code unaweza kaachana nayo then twende kwenye next 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 um we have sent one time password to your email so atakuwa ametuma uh, password kwenye kwenye email yako hapo Okay, tunaenda kuicheck baadaye. Naenda kwenye kwenye nationality hapo. Tutachagua Tanzanian. Alafu tarehe kuzaliwa. Nitaweka yoyote tu hapo. Okay? Alafu uh, I have dual nationalities maana yake raia wa nchi mbili. Hauna. Kwa mfano post code. Nitaweka link ya post code hapo chini kwenye description nyumba maybe 25 sasa hivi kuna wa jamaa wa, wa anwani za makazi so nyumba nyingi zinapewa namba uh, street street uh, unaweza ukaandika uka maybe uh, unaweza ukaandika maybe mlimani city maybe dar es salaam dar es salaam Okay. country Tanzania Naam kuna personal details Jenda ni mwanamke Alafu uh, place of birth umezaliwa wapi Utachagua Tanzania uh, utachagua hapo kwamba I'm not a US citizen wewe sio raia wa wa Marekani uta click okay next ita road itafunguka itakuja sehemu ya financial background utakuja kwenye employee status utaandika self employed occupation andika yoyote ile manager What is the source of funds? Saving and investment. Tutakuna chagua wewe hapa. Hapa ni maelezo yako sasa. Uh, value of savings and assets USD maybe 0 mpaka 100. Approximate annual income maybe hiyo ya chini. Alafu expected total deposit. Uh, Unaweza kuchagua hii ya chini. 
and then as in effect we jaza tu how many years of trading experience maybe less than one year what are you trading easy sio sifa zangu na jaza za mtu mwingine hapo utachagua speculation so hapa everyone achague speculation risk tolerance tutakuja kukubaliana na accept high degree of volatility accept still and minimal returns without any fraction in initial investment uh, maybe tuchague hii kwanza next wala something akipo sawa huku juu ya tujachagua hapa your industry for example maybe nitaweka agriculture alafu ndo nitarudi chini huku nitaweka nitaweka next make sure hiyo next inakuwa ya njano ili kubali kuwa kui click kiona ijawa ya njano maana yake kuna kitu akipo sawa baada ya hapo tutakuja mwishoni kabisa huku confirm hivi vitu so utasoma hivi vitu vyote na ukiona kwamba uko friendly kwako uta click i confirm i confirm ikisha unasoma ikisha unavisoma hivyo vitu vyote then i confirm i confirm i confirm i confirm next utakuja kwa mwishoni kabisa watakushukuru dear brandina little account negative balance protection maximum leverage no de deposit restriction this limits are designed to improve your trading experience endelea next then risk warning soma vitu vyote hivyo confirm click complete okay kumbuka kuna email kule ilitumwa so kufikia hapa unakuwa maliza hizi uh, process za mwanzoni okay so wanakuwa wanakuomba sasa uweze ku upload document okay so kwa upload document uta click upload okay utakuja manyo upload utaleta proof of identity so utachagua kwa mfano kama ni nida utakuja hapa mwisho uta click choose file uki click choose file itakupeleka kwenye mafaili yako utaenda kuchagua kimalizo utakushuka chini huku utakuja choose file pia hapo uta click itakupeleka kwenye mafaili uta upload okay sasa unapokuwa na una, ukishamaliza hapo wata wataanza ku review wakikubali watakutumia email kwamba wamekubali okay sasa kwenye kuna proof of identity kuna proof of residence proof of identity unaweza kuwa na nida au what has id au passport au driving license lakini upande upande wa ku prove uh, ku approve ile 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 residence unaweza kuwa na bank statement affidavit utility bills affidavit inatoa so unaweza kwa nitafuta kwa hawa broker wawili infinox pamoja na just forex affidavit nitakutumia affidavit inapatikana kwa mwanasheria gharama yake ni 10000 okay affidavit ya ku make sure na upload hapo kwenye proof of residence okay ukishamaliza inaweza kachukua masaa even instantly hapo hapo ukikuta ndo pengine hakuna account nyingi ambazo zimekuwa submitted okay so this is the simplest way ya kufungua account in finox okay so link ya kufungua account nimeweka chini unaweza kujoin pia kwenye group la telegram ambalo natoa kama una swali una nini maelezo mengi sana natoa kwenye group kule kule so asante sana kwa kunisikiliza next time